Hey everyone, it is almost the end of August. Can you believe that? And I thought I would come on and just kind of go over some real estate by the numbers and um, some trends, some upcoming trends as well. But this is based off of the R RIS Media Real Estate. I know I've read some things out of here in the past, but this there's some funny things in here too, so you might want to hang on to the end of the video. Anyways, real quick, 80% of homeowners they rank the kitchen as the top three rooms in a home that they'd like to see updated. So if you are thinking about selling your home and you're wondering where to invest some of the, the funds prior to putting your home on the market, you might want to consider the kitchen. All right. Of course, and it's also usually your most expensive upgrade too, right? Um, 275000 were that was the number of construction job openings in 2018. Um, that is an increase of 39%. So, and that's year over year. So if you're looking for a job or maybe a career change, you might want to consider the construction trades. Um, and if you've watched any of my videos in the past, I've talked about how there's a huge shortage in labor in those fields, which has driven the price up, especially when it comes to home building. All right. The days of dwim of dwindling inventory may come soon. Have we ever like really recovered in the past year? I'm not quite sure. However, there has been a shrinkage in um, inventory over the past year, uh, available supply, and it's continuing to shrink. Now it's down to 2.8% in June. It was 2.8 or 2.9 in May, 4.4, um, 5.8, 6.4 before that, all the way back to January. So what does that mean? It means that our supply is getting short again and that might drive up demand and it might continue to stay a seller's market. So um, it does say that there's reports from Realtor.com saying that that shortage supply could hit as early as October. So all that talk out there that our economy is going to be in a recession here soon, I don't know about you, but I personally don't see it. I read several economic articles. Um, there are a few triggers that we could put on ourselves mainly talking about that we're, uh, we're going to go into a recession, maybe will make us go into a recession, right? But I am not seeing it, and I don't think it's going to happen anytime in the next year. Um, here's the funny one. More than a third of people who sold their homes claim to have cried over the experience. I can tell you, I remember my one friend was building, um, and she cried on the phone to me. I felt awful. Um, I, I thought to myself, man, I wish I was like handling that for her, just try to have her avoid all of all of the stuff that she was currently going through. Um, but it says consumers pulled by Zillow rank selling their homes as one of the most stressful events. That's along with getting fired or planning a wedding. That's crazy. Um, it, it reports that their uncertainty about their home sale price, worries that the property wouldn't sell, and pressure to fix up the home triggered tears. So I got a solution for you. An agent can really help out with eliminating those tears or keeping those tears from coming. All right. I'm not going to deny that it's a big emotional experience, but um, agents can help out, help out a whole lot. All right. Well, I hope you have a great last week of August 2019 and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.